Sometimes, like in the case of birds and insects, migration is built into the very DNA. They migrate because their bodies tell them to. But for ungulates, such as deer, sheep, and moose, it's long been hypothesized that seasonal migration is a learned behavior, passed down from one generation to the next. The question is, do they innately know to go where the best, greenest, healthiest grazing is at different times of the year, or do they need to learn from others in the herd? Researchers have now put this to the test by tracking the movements of bighorn sheep and moose in the American West. They use GPS data of hoofstock from both historic populations, centuries old in some cases, and populations that had been moved over the past few decades due to overhunting and disease. The researchers tracked the way these different types of herds migrated over two to four years and compared how their movements matched up with the quality of the available food in the area. Ideally, when ungulates migrate, they synchronize their movements to forage for vegetation when it's most nutritious and easiest to digest a process called green wave surfing. In the American West, that means as the weather warms, they follow the best fodder, from lower elevations to higher ones, following the best greens up the mountains. The research team used NASA's MODIS satellite to take snapshots of the greenery over time, while an onboard spectrometer analyzed the forage quality. Researchers then overlaid the data from the animal's movements, gleaned from GPS collars, with these maps of forage quality. They defined an animal's surfing ability as the difference between the day forage quality peaked and the day the animal foraged at the location. This map follows three historic herds of bighorn sheep in Whiskey Basin, Wyoming, as the vegetation begins to mature. Having lived there for centuries, they easily follow the vegetation as it blooms up the mountain. This map, however, follows three relocated herds of sheep, 85 miles to the north in Devil's Canyon, Wyoming. Since they've only lived there for a short time, they haven't yet learned to green wave surf, so they stay put. The results showed that historic populations were much better at riding the green wave than populations that had been recently relocated, suggesting that green wave surfing migration is learned or culturally transmitted. It's likely this ability takes decades to develop, as each generation becomes familiar with the area and passes down this knowledge to their offspring. However, once a species is relocated or driven locally extinct due to disease or overhunting, that knowledge is lost forever and could take decades to be restored. Though this study is only based on a few herds, the researchers believe that this emphasizes the importance of not only establishing new migration corridors for relocated species, but also preserving ones that have already existed for, in some cases, centuries.